Hello, everybody. Somehow it's lagging. Trying to find the solution. All right. I think we found the solution. So, let me know if you hear me well, or is it uh, still lagging? I hope it is. Well, anyways. Let's uh, start our today's presentation. And sorry for the for the brief delay that occurred for a few moments, but uh, I think everything should be fine now. So, hello everybody again, and my name is Michael. Yes, now I got the slides as well. My name is Michael and I'm from Estonia and it's a great day here in Estonia today because uh, we have uh, Estonian national birthday as well on 24th of uh, February. So uh, everybody who are listening us or me from Estonia, happy birthday. But uh, today we are going to concentrate more um, on the technology. Uh, on the technology that uh, that has come here to change the world, um, that technology which has been developed already for uh, for some time, but is still very new comparing to other um, compatible technologies such as tramways or or uh, trains uh, or etc. So we will uh, try to see the benefits and and the reasons why this technology. What we are going to discuss about today is here to stay. What are its uh, you know, positive aspects comparing to other transportation systems? So, yes. Uh, and to start, I welcome you to the 21st century because, as you know, the past centuries there have been made different technologies mostly which run mostly on fossil fuels such as I mentioned before trams trolleys and metros well metros are electrical mostly but uh, but uh, trains as well there are high-speed trains there are um, trains that connect um, cities and so on but uh, yeah, well, even even I recently 
in the beginning of the sorry in the last year in the end of the last year i i drove with a train from tallinn to tartu in estonia and then i discovered well i kind of imagined that uh, we also use already electrical 100 percent electrical trains but i discovered that when the engine started uh, that there is there was a black uh, fume coming out out from the chimneys or from the from the roof of the train so uh, even in europe they still use some uh, mixture um, between electricity and and fossil fuels so and gas of course but uh, all, all these past century technologies they produce co2 levels um, which we know our governments and the world uh, globally is uh, is looking to reduce these uh, levels and therefore it is necessary for us to think as well into the future because uh, because skyway is our uh, so-called future transportation technology and uh, and yes it, it uses electricity mm. let's see um, Already a few hundred years ago, actually this picture is made uh, about a hundred years ago, uh, there was a painter who, who described or painted the world, or how he imagined it uh, in, in the future. So already back then it was, uh, it was painted uh, the way that we use, uh, the humankind is using a second level transportation systems because we know that uh, today there are, well, the first level infrastructure is very great advanced, uh, advanced already as, as you can see on this picture as well there were cars uh, trams already back then buses uh, and nowadays we have even more transportation uh, technologies which use the ground floor which uh, used asphalt or or or, or the track structure the structures that are located on the first level but uh, still the pro problems occur so why is that well first reason is that there is nowhere to go especially in the bigger cities because uh, we cannot tear down the buildings or um, or you know we cannot uh, uh, build new roads uh, where it's impossible to construct them because there is no space left anymore but uh, but population is growing the number of cars and uh, and uh, vehicles that use the first level the ground floor those are also increasing so the, the problems are, are occurring more often and therefore we need a solution and what I see the only solution is to go um, to the second level to go up basically oh and even more we have we have the underground transportation already existing as well the metro or, or the subway I will show you some pictures as well uh, well first of all here here you can see this one is uh, well, on the right side, the monorail technology. It, this is not very often used or, or not very popular because it's uh, quite expensive. It's not that fast, and it makes a lot of noise. And uh, uh, well, uh, as you can see, the construction itself of this of, of these both technologies on the left side is it's a normal train, but um, um, supports and and the track itself is very massive, and therefore it's uh, quite expensive. And not that, uh, and it doesn't look that beautiful as well. Or this picture here. This one is made in Germany. Uh, this technology, and it's it's used uh, nowadays as well in Germany. And and also, I, I want you to um, take a look at the construction and bear attention and bear in mind how how massive it is. Uh, uh, comparing to Skyway, which I will show you uh, quite soon. And then this one is used in China. And, well, this is basically the tram, but it's uh, it has the wheels or the connectors uh, on the roof. So it's basically upside down tram, uh, tramway. And then nothing else is spectacular uh, about this technology. And this one you might uh, be familiar when you have um, taken a trip into the mountains or or, or did this uh, skiing or, or the ski resorts 
they all, all, also use mostly this uh, technology as you can see on the right side and below there and what is this technology about it's it's basically the uh, machines or the capsules or the models itself they basically stay at the same place or they they won't move themselves but um, but the chain or the rope or uh, or um, or what they use for um, for for movement onto which they are attached uh, that one is uh, moving basically and and on the sides there are engines which uh, spin the chain or or the ropes or whatever technologies they use today and they spin those and and the models or the capsules or the machines they are attached to the chains so basically that's how they move as you can see the white arrows point to those places as well and this one here this one is uh, skyway now and as you can see there are plenty of models already existing and already certified as well and um, well first of all let's let's see the constructions the constructions are very neat and very nice comparing to other massive uh, which i showed you before um, and uh, and the technology itself uh, what, what is different comparing to all the other technologies is, is that those machines here scrama models they have their own uh, rolling wheels basically they have four uh, up four to up to eight wheels which uh, move the models on the track not the track itself moves but the models move move themselves they have batteries they use electricity and also the track is electrified itself as well so that's how they they get the energy to to move on and and the speeds are also quite uh, spectacular the high speed unibus you see in front of the picture and on on the track this one goes up to 600 kilometers per hour and below it the unibus two sector unibus this one goes up to 150 kilometers per hour and then the high speed unibus is meant to connect the different cities so for a higher higher distances or longer distances and the unibus is meant for uh, inner city mostly or well between the near cities so of course it can be used as well for traveling hundreds and hundreds of kilometers but uh, usually people or it's preferable to use the high speed unibus to do that but all right now we go now we move forward and uh, let's find out why skyway so i have uh, brought out uh, some points here that describe uh, the reasons why Skyway is here to stay and why it's important uh, um, for us, for mankind, to to start using or start implementing this technology and, and why they will do it, definitely. And the first reason is that Skyway is innovative. And as I said already, it does not produce any CO2 levels. It is fully uh, autom automated so there is no pilot or uh, no driver as well in the vehicle it's artificially intelligent uh, system mm, and well it's programmed and there are a lot of different sensors to discover any mm, disturbances or, or any well possible contacts with other objects and so on and secondly of course it looks fantastic as you can see on the picture as well this is specially made for arabic united arab emirates the design and, uh, and it looks very very good and of course that the fact that it's it's purely electrified and uh, and it's possible to implement solar panels or wind turbines to produce the electricity itself as well and even if the track itself loses the power some whatever reasons that might occur or, or happen then uh, then the batteries are capable to take skyway for uh, for a few hours more to to make it drive a few hours more so we can go to nearest uh, stations or or places that uh, before well so that the track could be maintained and here i have brought out the one um, one uh, picture from a movie I made myself in the year 2019 when I 
took myself a trip to the Eco Park in Belarus and there was a festival called EcoFest 2019 what well, basically this is a one day in uh, each year where all the investors globally can come to see the technology and the achievements with their own eyes and this is meant for investors of course and for uh, people who who want to know more about the uh, technology and i have been there twice uh, 2019 and 18 as well and last year it was um, the event took place online so we nobody had the chance to go there to, to see what the more they have done but of course uh, Anatoly Oniski who is the creator of this technology showed a lot of uh, different aspects about this technology and the new tracks and uh, new achievements via video or via online broadcasting and, uh, and uh, therefore it was uh, also a very great event and it's possible to see it in your back office as well if you if you go back um, well almost half a year now in the news sec section then you can uh, see the video conclusion or or, or uh, review it malcolm has hi how long ha uh, has this webinar been running uh, not that long about uh, maybe 10 minutes we are on the 12th of slide right now and we have more than half more to go so you are not late anywhere at first we just told talked about uh, talked about this um, well the past century technologies and i showed some pictures i can yes basically i showed some technologies that exist today and uh, then we and now we are on the second slide in the section of talking about skyway so I talked about monorail and then some train uh, trains and then uh, something what has done in China and and so on. So yes, you are here at the right time. So no no worries. All right, let's see. And if you want to see this video, what you see on the picture right now, this this picture. But uh, if you want to see the full video, then you can uh, search in YouTube. You can search my name and. And then you will find the video as well. It's one minute long. It's quite short, but but the but the uh, unicar which you see on the picture uh, in the air, that one uh, I got the chance also to try with, and it was very amazing, um, very amazing experience to see all the area and and then and, and so on from uh, from 50 meters above. So that's why I also enjoy a lot driving with Skyway when when this uh, comes in my city or in the in the world as well you know to to be to be capable for everybody to to get the chance to to get the experience but all right let's see more secondly second point why Skyway is that it is ecological well first of all the electricity aspect that it uses only alternative energy well it uses electricity and it's uh, capable to produce its own as well with uh, solar panels and wind turbines that can be attached to the track and um, of course that it is much less costly and well if we compare it to the well for example the monorail which was built in dubai then that one cost 70 seven zero million uh, us dollars per one kilometer then um, this track what you see on the picture right now it's uh, from five to 15 million us dollars per, per kilometer so it's much cheaper of course everything depends on the land um, the type of the land is it mount is it are the mountains or, or so on or lakes or seas which which skyway has to go over or or is it uh, just a plot land like like here in Estonia or in Europe mostly have in Eastern Europe at least and and of course the height as well because Skyway it's capable to um, take Skyway up to 100 meters above the ground but it's very expensive but it's possible so we can go even over the mountains we can go over the forest if, if it's necessary to do that uh, as you can see on the picture behind me as well that one is a linear city called linear city and uh, those drive also about 50 meters above the ground even on the sea so it's it's possible to construct uh, special plateaus on the uh, seas and uh, and attach the well the, um, the posts as you can see or the, or the, or the, con on the construction attach it on the plateau so 
So Skyway can basically we can make a linear city like this. You can see like these buildings. <clears throat> supports, I wanted to say. Not posts but supports. And another ecological aspect is that the wind resistance is much less than it is uh, with um, cars. So it's uh, even about 10 times less um, the, the index than it is with uh, supercars. And that's due to the fact that uh, Skyway has no screen effect. The wind comes, it goes below the model. There is a, of course, there is a track. I mean, the track but the track is up in the air so there is no asphalt or, or the first ground uh, into which the wind can uh, go to so um, and that's the thing with the cars the wind comes it goes below the car it uh, it uh, there is asphalt and that makes the wind turb uh, resistant much higher and of course yeah I already told you about electricity versus uh, co2 levels so and most of the countries still use fossil fuels, uh, fossil fuel um, engines in in most of the vehicles that the human human humans use. And well, this is this will change, of course, in the near future. I think in the near maybe twenty thirty years, in the future, this uh, everything is most electrical. And even it is said that uh, governments governments want to ban in the near future. Um, the entering, the entering to the cities or entering to the main squares inside the city hearts to go there with the fossil fuel engines. It doesn't matter if it's a tram, tramway or car or whatever technology it is. They want to ban that uh, solution, so only electricity. And the first ground problems. Those are the next uh, next things we need to see and understand that uh, well in the winter time the, the biggest problem if, if, if the snowfall is very great then the biggest problem is that the snow the amount of snow can lift the train higher and then the train can go off the rails and that's why we need some special heavy trains that will clear the path for for the commercial trains and of course in the desert there is the sand tones which you never know or never can uh, predict when they happen and then those sand, sand, sand storms also cause uh, a lot of problems but the uh, skyway technology is immune to the, these problems no ice no snow no uh, wind or, or whatever can um, deconstruct the structures of skyway it will work perfectly and as you might understand also if, if we build new highways or new new uh, well in the nordic countries as on the right on the right picture that shows in the Nordic countries we need to um, make explosions first explode the mountains so we can build a track um, inside the mountain or through the mountain that's very expensive uh, area and on the left side there well that's that's the most uh, popular way to construct new ways and what we what we need to understand about that picture is that Sometimes it's necessary to build seven up to nine meters below the ground. The constructions, the different uh, fillers need to be placed so the road structure could fit and could be strong for many years. And that's also a very expensive uh, way to, to construct it comparing to Skyway where you just need, uh, need, need to construct the uh, Mm, anchor supports after each 400 meters for example it takes much less uh, land allocation and we don't, do not need to well mostly we, we do not need to harm any mm, you know forest take down forest and etc etc uh, here is the picture as well about it so I think you might get the glimpse uh, on this picture how awesome this is really and this actually this picture well this is animated but uh, the same thing is possible to see in real life as well in the United Arab Emirates already where, where the innovation center is being constructed and I myself have been there also twice already and the second time I got the chance to see the same uh, same support what you see on this picture right now this uh, oval shaped 
uh, very beautiful support. And I know that the first track, which is 400 meter long for Tropical Unicard, the same model that is on the picture right now, uh, is already ready and the certification and the testing and demonstration is uh, taking place every day there. And two other tracks, are uh, two and a half kilometer tracks, two of those are also being built at the moment there. And two, two, uh, and one is meant for, which is also very really awesome, is meant for this cargo transportation, these sea containers up to 20, 40 foot long and, and weighing about 40, 50 tons. And you can see one of that on this picture as well in the left side there between the support, the green one. But I will show you some pictures later as well. Mm, all right, let's see more. Third point, safety. Many of uh, many people ask me about the safety and uh, other issues about that and what could be the problems and and so on. But uh, well, actually, it, it's possible. Well, it's described like this: if we turn upside down the same models what you see on the picture right now, then it will stay heavily attached to the strings. It won't go anywhere. And there was even one accident in a demonstration park in Belarus or accidentally one tractor throw in front of the demonstration, uh, well, in front of the track where demonstration took place or the testing and uh, the tractor didn't see somehow. But what happened was that the model, the same model you see uh, higher, uh, it's called uh, Unibus as well. That one, uh, uh, that one was, well, it was a little bit off shaped, you know, a little bit, uh, but, but it, it, it was, it was still attached very, very strongly to the string, so it didn't fall off or anything. But the tractor was, of course, in not that good shape, and the pilot or the driver was taken to the hospital. But, uh, but that one, that one was the proof that this uh, universe it's very strong. It doesn't go anywhere, even if an accident happens. And well, if electricity goes away or something happens with the uh, engines or, or batteries or whatever reasons the one model stays at the same place then the other one can come and pick it up so basically you can see in front and uh, in the back there are so like antennas these um, sharp shaped uh, elements and those attached uh, will attach very easily and are meant to attach with uh, one and another uh, models so they can be pulled or or pushed in the, in the stations and of course, there are some special um, equipment for if if we need to evacuate evacuate people uh, from above to the ground. There, there is uh, special equipment inside this uh, each model as well, so that one can be done as well. Oh, here you can see this is the derailment system and the motor wheel. Also, those are the pat patented by Anatolia Niske and, uh, and I know it that even Siemens guys wanted to buy these patents, patents but uh, of course they were not for uh, selling. And I like to bring this picture as well uh, on the slides almost each time because this one describes where well the security or the safety which uh, which is going on right now in the world so in North, uh, southern countries, the, the the picture can be like this many times in India and in Pakistan. The fourth point is that Skyway, we, two points more, the fourth point is that Skyway has its own real products and real models. This is not only something we show you on the catalog or something on the pictures, but we really have these models. I will put it, this one also on the picture here on the slide. And as you can see, most, most of these are already certified as well. And, and right now they're developing in the United Arab Emirates the uh, 40 plus seat um, Unibus and even uh, and the Unibus which can be attached uh, to each other so it can uh, be more than 100 persons at the same time in, in, in the in the universe. So these one are currently being under development as well as uh, this one here, this Unicont, the C container 
version, which uh, which is also something spectacular because uh, this makes it much more faster to take goods from the ships or from the docks to the mainland and so on. And basically, we can build up to five kilometers to the sea. We can build some sp special plateaus where the ships can come. They can unload it uh, with the Skyward technology. So. Uh, we do not need to build any more ports or so on uh, directly to the mainland. Here is also one more picture. How it will look like. And this is the real life picture from Sacha. Fifth point is that demand for Skyway is everywhere, and uh, well, and that's true as well because, um, as I explained before, we do not have any more places to to build new roads, especially in bigger cities. But we need to go on the second level because uh, already down below there is a metro or the subway. On the first level, there's a very well built infrastructure. So another logical step is that we go higher. And that's why Skyway is here and, and the demand also is everywhere. And the sixth point is we have a very strong team. We are more than a thousand workers. Uh, and uh, in the middle of this picture, there is Anatoly, Dr. Anatoly Nitsky, who is the creator and uh, head behind the idea. And well, he has departments and uh, buildings in Belarus, in Europe and in, uh, in United Arab Emirates as well. So the work is going actively uh, every day each day and then even despite the coronavirus uh, development is uh, still going on each day so nothing has stopped and then of course big thanks to all the investors and as we know there are more than half a million investors already around the world so so and we investors we are the fuel to the to the company of course and then I hope that soon we will all uh, benefit as well from the investments we have, we have made and then uh, contribute it to the company. And the seventh point is that uh, Skyway is financially beneficial. And as I promised, I will show you now some uh, calculations I have done. Actually, I did a research and then the thorough research, 24 pages, and uh, I did mostly about Skyway, Monorail, Mogliev and, and some trains as well and trams. But as you can see on this um, slide, the price calculation is, well, it shows very well that the Skyway is, well, almost 10 and even more than 10 times uh, cheaper. And if we take in, um, they put in this calculation all the different aspects about the electricity electricity or about the ecology and ecology ecology and uh, and uh, and uh, the speed and then safety as well and about the safety aspect of what I forgot to tell you was that uh, because it's on the second level there is no accidents with the first level transportation systems as you know there are millions of dead each year due to the accidents uh, with cars or other uh, transportation systems on the first level and of course many of them are uh, handicapped as well so Skyway has a lot of benefits comparing to other transportation systems and uh, of course it's very beneficial for investors as well and um, why I brought out this slide here is because we have four more days to go with this campaign uh, what is offered uh, to us to investors that we will get the uh, one to hundred discount, which means basically that uh, for each invested US dollar, we will receive hundred shares. And as we know uh, from the documents uh, from our back office, that each share when we open the when we go to the open market, when we enter the IPO, IPO then each share is valued uh, to one US dollar. So. Uh, and of course the dividends which which can um, which will happen when the projects will become profitable so it it has also many multiple benefits and this one here is four more days as you can see we need to invest five thousand US dollars and we will receive half a million shares which is well really great and i urge you to, to use this chance and of course there are many more um, offers in your back office so 
if you have your back office then go there and see your own what is possible to invest and what you will receive for your investments and some news as well uh, in the end so uh, there is very great work going on in uh, United Arab Emirates and the governments are visiting a lot the innovation center and I know that in, in a town called Korfakan the well, the media media in uh, in uh, United Arab Emirates recently published that in in the city called Korfakan there will be a 10.4 kilometer track, uh, and uh, well, they are planning it and then they are thinking heavily on on implementing it, and then doing research for it to to and to take new skyward technology there. And of course, in Dubai as well, this one Dubai news was already from last year. And that that, that uh, when the United Arab Emirates Prime Minister signed the contract with Skyway to to construct a 15 kilometer route with 21 stations in uh, Dubai, so these are really great news to to bear in mind and uh, this one give hope that in soon in, in near future we will receive benefits as well from from the process. Yeah, of course, Kor Sakan. Yes. And in the end, I always like to bring out this picture. This is Dalai Lama here with Anatolia Niski, and he also gave his blessing to the project and then um, said that it's not going to be easy. And as we know, the transportation sector is one of the heaviest sectors to, to be successful in. So, uh, but but uh, he he said that in the end it's all going to work out very well, and the world really needs your technology. So, uh, great news from the highest spiritual um, mind or, or person as well. All right, I think it's uh, it's enough for today and uh, we have come to end next time the webinar will take place on 10th of uh, march in two weeks and 7 pm uh, moscow time so just check uh, check what time is is it in your country but 7 pm moscow time and we talk uh, again about the technology itself we'll bring out some new news and and uh, and uh, many more uh, amazing uh, things th th that we need to talk about and of course I will answer all the questions that you will ask and then I urge you to invite your uh, friends or or other persons as well that who might be interested in it because you know this is one time once in a lifetime chance so let's take this chance and let's share it with others as well so thank you very much and uh, I will keep providing good updates and thank you Malcolm as well to 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 be here to that you that you came here. So all right, goodbye everybody and and see you soon.